This is the Bobcat CT1025. This is a special episode, this isn't mine, but I got the chance to do a review on it and that's what we're going to do today. Hi, I'm Dale, and this is Dale of All Trades. I'm constantly finding myself having to repair something, install something, or find out the hard way that something just isn't worth the money. So I figured I'd take you along for the ride, and hoping along the way to inspire you to try your hand at some repairs yourself. You can expect to see repairs, reviews, how-tos, and anything in between. A special thanks to anyone who has already subscribed. Please consider subscribing. The more the merrier in this journey. So let's figure out what's going on now and get to it. This is the Bobcat CT1025. Today I'm shooting near a highway, so I apologize for any background noise there is in the audio. Now when this particular one was purchased, they were running a promotion where when you bought the tractor, you got the front end loader free. I don't know how long that will be running when you will be watching this video, but just assume that everything is sold separately. Now this particular one, they have the mower deck, the front end loader, the backhoe, and a snowblower attachment. For, but for today's video, we're going to be reviewing the tractor, the front end loader, and the backhoe. I will in the summertime be doing a review of the mower deck and possibly a little later down the road doing a review of the snowblower. Now if you're watching this and you're wondering what attachment part numbers they are, the front end loader is an FL6 for front loader part number 6. And the backhoe part number is BH66 for backhoe part number 66. Now this is the Bobcat CT1025. The CT is the tractor model, the 10 stands for 1000 series, and the 25 is 25 horsepower. Now this is a three cylinder diesel, no def fluid required for this model. Anything higher and you're going to be looking at having to run def fluid. That's what makes this particular model very desirable. One less thing you got to worry about. One of the big things that the owner of this Bobcat has told me that you should really consider if you're looking at getting this particular model, if you ever want to add the backhoe to it, say you buy it with just the front end loader and it isn't set up for the backhoe, there's a lot that has to be added. So it may be best to order it with the backhoe right away. There's extra hydraulics that have to be run and some additional framing that actually is added on to strengthen the tractor. Even the seat is different for the swivel mechanism so that you can use the backhoe. Okay, getting to the cost of this beast. That is something I will insert here and I will show you the breakdown of every single individual part, including the tractor. So your base price right up to fully loaded if you want a mower deck, snow blower, everything. There are also different bucket attachments if you want. I will add all that right here. 
Now this is the pricing for the year 2020 and should not be taken 100% to heart. But this is intended to give you a rough idea of what you will be paying for this particular model. Go ahead and pause this screen and look at all the prices. All right, well, there's not much information on this tractor as far as YouTube videos go. So I want to be as in-depth as I can, and I'm going to show you the engine and give you a quick walk around of this entire unit. And I'm going to mention some things that were added and some things that were kind of cheap and ended up breaking right off the bat. So right here's the engine compartment. It's really not a whole lot to see, but there's your three-cylinder diesel. Nice little engine air filter. Air intake up front, radiator, a radiator screen to keep some of the garbage out. And it comes with a actual alternator, so adding accessories to this should not be an issue. As you can see from the front shot there, the battery is right up front, easily accessible. Side dump exhaust. Some different angles for you here. Now I mentioned cheap things that broke right away. Now this particular Bobcat has been outfitted with some aftermarket LED lights because the current owner just wanted to dress it up. Can't blame them. It's a good looking machine. Now this comes with some extremely, and I mean extremely cheap, marker lights where these LEDs have been mounted. They were the first thing to break, I've been told. and. When I say cheap, they were cheap. I'll insert an example of what a factory one would have been set up like here. So that's what it would have looked like from the factory. Not a big deal, but it is kind of a gripe. When you're spending a lot of money on something, you want every single part to be durable. Another minor setback with this is when you're hooking up the backhoe, if you have the machine running, you have to kill the engine because the pump is continuously running so when you disconnect the pump on the lines back here you have a chance of, of burning up the pump oh anyway <laughs> I thought this was the boys of Bobcat <laughs> well that was embarrassing sorry you had to see me like that I actually am down here for a reason and that's because the hydraulic filter is not in the perfect location and I thought that's something I should mention now they do offer a guard for this oil filter, or hydraulic filter I should say. It's 70 extra dollars, but that being said, this is a yard machine. And if you're going to take it out in the woods, I would highly recommend getting that guard. So as you can see, it's only about 6 inches from the ground here. So your seat, your feet would be located about right here. And right there is the hydraulic filter. All right, one more thing. Still not the biggest thing, but if you plan on really using this for some heavy duty work, these are things you need to be aware of. Now, if you wanted to put chains on this or something like that, there's a fuel filter located right inside this fender well that I'll show you. And you're probably gonna take it out if you put chains on it or if you get real rowdy in the woods with it. It's right there, right inside the fender well. All right, you might be watching and thinking, geez, this guy's really picky, and that's not it. I just want to point out some of the more minor flaws that have been noticed after owning this for about six months or so. Other than that, it's not really that bad. I mean, it's a really good machine. I have not heard any complaints about it so far. I want to make a special note to everybody watching. If this is helping you out, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that thumbs up button if this video helped you out. I do tons of reviews and lots of other fun stuff in the summertime, so be sure to check me out. Thanks. All right, that about does it for the general overview of this Bobcat. Now I've been doing enough talking. We will get to see this thing in action a little bit. It is kind of frozen here in the Midwest, so I'll do the best I can for digging a hole. All right, let's see this thing in action.
This has been an initial impressions and an initial review of the Bobcat CT1025. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.